Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It's a Thursday morning, 9 a.m. here in Hawaii. It's the 17th day of January. And my, 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 how this month is flying by, huh? So thank you all for joining today. Today we're going to be focusing on gratitude. Dagon An. Dagon An is a Mandarin Chinese word that means the greatest gratitude. And I'll be sharing with you today some wisdom on that as well as doing some practices. Uh, specifically, while we are incorporating the practices, we will be receiving some blessings. Personally, one of the reasons I chose this subject matter today was because it's something that I lack. It's something that I need to bring much, much more of into my life. I figured I'm probably not alone, so I thought I would invite you to, uh, to attune and bring a little more gratitude into your life at the same time. <clears throat> and I'll share with you some of the spiritual wisdom that my teacher, Master Shah, has brought to us about the subject of gratitude as well. So that's what you can look forward to today. And we've got quite a few people jumping in. Great, great to see everybody. Let me turn down my little noisemaker here. Good. Okay. Phones are so wonderful, but they can make uh, a lot of distractions, huh? So thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you for your presence. Let's check in with who's here. Welcome, Liz Beth Lang. Welcome, uh, Catherine Gaia. Aloha, Kristen Rojas. Thank you for your presence. Um, I can't quite read that first name. Welcome, Lotzia. Aloha, Tania. <coughs> welcome, Keith. Aloha also to Cora Sa. And welcome, Gerd. Welcome, Morgano Zita. Welcome, Jota. Welcome, Rena Singh. Aloha, everybody. Also, welcome, Master Manfred. Aloha to Candy Cornette. Thank you all for your presence. So as the 17th day of January creeps forward towards the end of the month, we have uh, some uh, a new year in front of us. You know, we're in 2019 already, and the opportunity to make this year far better than last year uh, often resides in the simple things like gratitude. So you will... Um, Get a few tidbits of wisdom today how we can bring a little bit more of this into our lives I think it's important that we keep uh, this at the forefront of our mind there's so many things pulling at us uh, starting with our loved ones our family members children parents spouses uh, they want our attention of course and we should make sure we give them that attention with gratitude there's also other things pulling at us all the time trying to take our emotions away from a good and centered place. So we'll talk a bit more about that as we go. <clears throat> Welcome also to um, uh, Catherine from California. Thank you for your presence. So while we are waiting for Facebook to gather a few more souls, I will do a, a brief introduction and then we'll connect heart to heart, soul to soul uh, with the song of love, peace and harmony. And then we'll go into today's wisdom teachings. And of course, we'll offer you some blessings. So my name is uh, Paul Fletcher. I had the name Master in front of my name because I've trained underneath Dr. Master Zhigong Sha. And Master Sha brought to humanity what's called the Ten Da. Da means greatest. Ten is the number. So the Ten Greatest. The Ten Greatest what? The Ten Greatest Qualities. They are the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest light, the greatest humility, greatest harmony, greatest flourishing, greatest gratitude, what we're going to be talking about today, greatest service, and the capstone to all these great qualities is the greatest enlightenment. Master Shah is a Mandarin Chinese native, although he speaks very good English, uh, and so Dagon Un is the greatest gratitude. All of these, these ten da, as they are referred to, have... Um, a Mandarin Chinese statement, Da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da Zi Bei, Da Guang Ming, Da Chen Bei, Da He Shi, Da Chang Sheng, Da Gan An, Da Fu Wu, and then Da Yuan Man. These are the ten Da's. So today we're going to be focusing on 
the greatest gratitude. And I'll be using one of Master Shah's uh, delivery mechanisms that bring uh, blessings to us that increase the gratitude in our heart, clear blockages in our soul, mind, body blockages that inhibit us from um, being grateful in the midst sometimes of some chaotic conditions. Welcome also Tone, welcome Dan, welcome Thomas Schmidt, welcome Esra, aloha and welcome to everybody else. If I missed your name, forgive me, thank you for your presence. <clears throat> so following uh, what I have learned from my beloved spiritual teacher, he shares with us that we should always connect to heaven and invite heaven. So let us do so. Placing our hands in a prayer position or if you're comfortable, you can drop your left hand in front of your heart center. This is referred to as the soul light, soul service hand position, connecting heaven into our heart center. Close your eyes and I will call forth all the beings of light to join us today. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source. <clears throat> Dear all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including all the angels and the healing angels, Masters, Ascendant Masters, Gurus, Lamas, Sithus, all the saints, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, to the soul of our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, the soul of beloved Amitofu, Buddha, Kuan Yin, to the soul of uh, Krishna, Ganesha, Vishnu, Muhammad, and more beings of light. We love you, honor you, respect you all. We ask for your presence today in whatever way is most appropriate. We invite the souls of our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We are extremely grateful for your presence as well. We ask that you assist us with further developing our gratitude, opening our heart to align more to all that is good in our life and all that you do for us from the soul world that we do not see. We are extremely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I will now bring forth the song of love, peace, and harmony. It is a mantra. It is a healing instrument. And for those that are not familiar with it, just close your eyes and receive the blessings. This mantra is used to, to set the energy field, the field of love, and to release any blockages so that our hearts are open. <clears throat> so if you wish to join with me, you're welcome to. If you wish to just receive the blessing, close your eyes and receive. We invite all souls and all universes to sing the song of love, peace, and harmony with us at this time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, <coughs> li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, I, wo, shin, her, ling. Wo, I, tran, and ling. Rong, ming, rong, her, mu, shir, shong. Shong, I, ping, on, a, she. Shong, I, Bing on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome Tony T. Welcome Loline. Welcome also to Pranja. Welcome Ilona. Welcome Criselda. Aloha Marlene. Welcome also to Everyone else, if I missed your name, forgive me. Thank you for your presence. Please uh, click share. Be willing to share this. Others may enjoy the wisdom that will be shared with today's live stream. So, Dagan An are the Mandarin Chinese words for the greatest gratitude. So, raise your hand if you find yourself in a place of gratitude more than you know 20 minutes a day 15 20 minutes a day where you're literally walking through your day and you have a smile on your face 
and you have gratitude on the tip of your tongue and gratitude in your mind raise your hand if you're one of those people that's able to accomplish that even 15 minutes in a day it's really hard for me to raise my hand with that one I would say I can do it because I've trained quite a bit to you know to do bowing down putting my head on the floor and gratitude to heaven to Tao the source because I offer a lot of blessings I always offer gratitude to heaven because they're the ones delivering the blessings anyway uh, before I actually deliver the blessings so but because of my spiritual practice I'm able to maybe get in 15 minutes a day that's kind of sad if you think about it because who is the source of the wellspring right what is uh, and I'm not going to state this exactly correctly but there is a, a proverb and I don't know how ancient it is if it's Chinese or, or, or what the source of it is but it says always remember the source of what feeds you and uh, it's it's a paraphrase it's not probably exact <clears throat> well what is the source of what feeds you and I it would be our Creator right by whatever name it goes by some call it Allah some call it God's it's, everyone has a different name great doesn't matter uh, our source feeds us how does our source feed us well first of all it gives us life energy where does our energy come from you wake up in the morning you have energy you're able to get out of bed you're able to process through the day for some of us it's quite painful for some of us it's a, a good experience uh, but regardless we are animated literally physically animated if you've ever went to a funeral and you and you looked at the body of a person who is passed on and went to the other worlds is that body moving it looks pretty dead right there's not much life happening there <clears throat> so we are animated what animates us this is very very simple ABC's if we do not recognize first and foremost that there's a reason we are physically able to move in the morning and that reason is the source that created us then why even bother going through the day why even bother waking up why even bother doing anything if we do not acknowledge and recognize the source that animates us and the wisdom that master Shah has brought to us in some of his more evolved books uh, speaking on the nature of creation he shares that from one creator by whatever name you call it comes two two is heaven and mother earth creator heaven and mother earth create all things all things three so from one comes two one plus two creates all things which is three and all things return back to the one very simple wisdom goes quite a bit deeper if you read any of his books but in this uh, understanding we are animated by the one which created one and two what are one and two heaven and mother earth do we offer our gratitude to heaven most of us yes do we offer our gratitude to mother earth most of us probably not so much this is just the beginning of spiritual understandings of gratitude because we are animated fed literally fed by heaven and mother earth there are quite a few stories not hard to locate where people do not eat do not drink and they live just like you and I Wow how is that possible are they living on gratitude not necessarily but they are living on heaven and mother earth energies heaven and mother earth feeds us individually I'll share with you a sacred secret there is two invisible energy points underneath the tongue that heaven and mother earth's energies come to us it's called Jin Jin Yulie Tian Ni Jin Sui which is the Mandarin Chinese words and it translates to heaven liquid mother earth liquid or gold liquid jade liquid what is this heaven liquid and this mother earth liquid gold liquid jade liquid what is this it is a a, um, you know how the the ancient proverbs they use they use like uh, gold liquid jade liquid you know that's kind of uh, how do you comprehend that right but what it is is heaven is animating us through our energy centers through our feet 
energy centers. Did you know there's a point in the bottom of your foot uh, called the bubbling springs point, K1 point in acupuncture. And this point is where Mother Earth's energies come, feed us, nurture us. The reason some people do not need food and water, and I'm one of them that needs it right now because I haven't created an energy body that can process without these things, is because they have uh, developed their energy bodies. They have learned to assimilate the gold liquid, jade liquid, swallow it down to a sacred energy point, and then convert that into life force energy. So I digress, but what does all this have to do with gratitude? How are we animated? We are animated by heaven and mother earth, love. We are animated by all the beings of light. Is heaven one? Heaven, yes, heaven is one, but heaven is comprised of countless, countless, countless beings of light. You can't, you literally cannot count the number of beings of light. Are you showing gratitude to them? What about Mother Earth? What does she give you? She gives us food. She gives us vegetables. She gives us proteins. She gives us water. She gives us air. Mother Earth, does she ask anything in return? Do you offer your gratitude daily to Mother Earth? Why should we do this? These are, again, yeah, I know these things. I've heard these things before. This is nothing new. This is not what I would call spiritual wisdom. Maybe some of the monkey minds are thinking. Or maybe some of you are going, yeah, that's a good reminder. Good to know. Thank you, Master Paul. Good to know. Let's go a little bit deeper. Why do we need to offer our gratitude on a daily basis more than we presently do? There is a spiritual wisdom, a spiritual law. That which you give, you get in return 100%, 100-fold, excuse me. So when you give your love to the beings of light and to heaven, what are you getting in return? 100-fold love. Do you think that will help you get through a difficult day? I think so. What if you're having a difficult time with the boss or a difficult time in a relationship or a difficult time with a lack of relationship? What if you're having a difficult time with why should I go on with life? You know, sometimes the mind gets so deep, and very painful. When we are in these very, very stuck places, the most important thing to do is to reach out to heaven and mother earth. They are our mother and father. They are Part of the co-creation from original creator they are there for us literally surrounding us 100% of the time but sometimes we find ourselves so stuck in the muck of life that we fail to even realize that we are surrounded by love we are surrounded by unconditional universal servants mother earth is there to serve you she's lived at least four billion years I think she has the power to serve you. She served 8 billion other people. She probably has a little power. What about heaven? Jesus, Buddha, Kuan Yin, God, Source, Creator, all the angels, healing angels, archangels, you name any of them, instantly they are there to serve you. Why then do we not ask for their assistance? When we offer our gratitude, we literally can pull ourselves out of the blockages of the day. Welcome also uh, Rhonda, welcome Tania, welcome Penelope, welcome Tony Te, welcome Nirma, uh, and welcome uh, Devyani. Thank you all for your presence. Many of us, I touched on this the other day with a different live stream, many of us, we only connect to our Creator, to Heaven, Mother Earth, <clears throat> when we have a problem. How many of you can say yes? Yeah, that's me. I only really connect when I have a problem. You know, dear God, help me. It's so difficult. I need you now. Why are you never there for me? Right? I've had those conversations. Have you had those conversations? I have. Quite a few of them. I, I've literally put dings in the roof of my car from hitting it from being too angry not being able to deal with life in a healthy balanced way now granted that was 20 years ago I've grown a little bit since then but I would venture to say that we've all had those times when we've 
raised our fist and wondered why we've been forsaken, so to speak. Really, heaven wants to hear from us a lot more often than when we're not happy. When we are in a place of gratitude, we are able to bring to ourselves in the next moment, especially in that next moment, more light. Gratitude brings light. Gratitude brings love. Gratitude opens our heart. Gratitude opens our heart. When we are grateful, think about it. I'm so grateful for da 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 da. I'm so grateful for this. I'm so grateful for you, heaven. I'm so grateful for you, Mother Earth. I'm so grateful that I can walk. How many of you, when you are walking by a paraplegic, somebody in a wheelchair, somebody that's hobbling along or bent over, how many of you say thank you for my, uh, my ability to walk? I'm so grateful for my health and wellness right now. Blessings to this beautiful soul. All these little things shift our, literally, our energetic frequencies. We, you, and I are little energy balls. From heaven's viewpoint, we're just walking energy balls. Probably rolling energy balls. They probably don't even see our legs. From heaven's viewpoint, we are all beings of light. From our viewpoint, we are, you know, just a big ball of, of, of life trying to get through this mess but from heaven's viewpoint we're, we're energy balls and they can see that our energy ball is very taxed and not so bright gratitude opens our heart when our heart is open heaven can bless us more when our heart is open our soul can communicate with us when our heart is open we can receive more light and love from our mother and our father. When our heart is open, we can give more gratitude and give more love. We need tools and triggers in our life to open our heart. It's so very easy, so very patternistic to, uh, to do things the way we've done, to respond and react the way we've always responded and reacted. It does not help us to mimic patterns that do not bring gratitude and benefit to us and yet we do it day in and day out we respond and react with anger hatred um, uh, uh, guilt self guilt uh, many different ways in an automatic basis gratitude is like putting a little little wedge in between the automatic reaction we must find something to be grateful for. It brings us love and light, opens our heart, and allows us to manifest a happier new moment. When we bring gratitude into more moments collectively throughout the day, not just grateful to heaven, not just grateful to Mother Earth, grateful for the ability to walk, grateful for the ability to see how many of you offer your gratitude for your sight. How many of you offer gratitude for the meal in front of you? How many of you offer your food and water to heaven, to all the beings of light that serve you unconditionally? How many of you offer gratitude to your heaven's teams, the ones that are literally dedicated to your soul's journey? I remind you of this because there are literally a thousand times a day that we can be more grateful. I started this live stream because I am not grateful enough. I recognize that. There is so much more room for gratitude in my life i said well as i speak it i learn it what about teaching gratitude to others do you teach it to your children do you teach it to your co-workers and friends you know my wife said to me the other day you're complaining too much it's good to have somebody to remind you of these things right need to be more grateful <laughs> the complaints are just the monkey mind taking over okay trigger let us offer gratitude so it helps keep us in an open heart space the master Shah has brought to us some tools what did he do to help us as a being of light who has come to earth to assist he has created over 20 books literally uh, received information 
and wrote the books out. I'm, I'm not kidding. He received the information. For those of you that are not familiar with Master Sha, how can you tell? Well, he's Mandarin Chinese. He literally would read his own books and not know what the word means. That must mean he did and write them. That must mean he received it and spoke the words. And so uh, the words must have been very poignant and uh, valuable because out of his 21 books, 11 are New York Times bestsellers, four of which have reached number one. So that means that the wisdom that has come through has touched many, many souls, millions upon millions of souls. And in working uh, to be a messenger of light, he has received three main messages to focus on. Love music, love art, love field. Today I'm going to be talking about love art and love field. You experienced love music earlier with the song of love, peace, and harmony. Welcome, Rebecca. Welcome, Lali. And welcome, Catherine Gaia. So this is an example of love art. Okay? All of you should be able to see that well. This is three Mandarin Chinese characters known as calligraphy done with a one-stroke movement. The characters, if done individually, would be like the first character is three strokes, you know, three movements of the brush. The next character, I really don't know how many movements of the brush, but I would say about 10 to 12. And the uh, third character would probably be also about 10 to 12. So one stroke means the brush never comes off the paper and it connects the message that's on the paper. Greatest gratitude. The greatest gratitude. The greatest gratitude. So this is called love art. Now, by itself, it's quite beautiful. Very beautiful. Master Shah went to China, and he took his calligraphy over there, and he met a lot of very important people, some of the top brass in all of China. And many of them had some significant health issues. Here's what he did. He said in his own tongue, come in front of this love art and trace it. Trace it with your fingers and trace it with your body. He showed them how to do like a Tai Chi movement with their body following the oneness lines and the message that was placed within the calligraphy. And literally hundreds, hundreds of people reversed health conditions. Some a little bit, some entirely. Major health conditions depended on how long they did the practice of following the oneness information, the message built into this delivery of healing. So Master Shah is a being of light. And as a being of light, he has been empowered to transmit Shen, Qi, and Jing that comes from heaven and Mother Earth. What animates you? We discussed this earlier, heaven and Mother Earth. Heaven and Mother Earth's frequencies are quite potent. Without it, we are not alive. And their frequencies are much higher than yours and mine. Their energies, or positive Shen, Qi, and Jing, has the ability to literally melt away negative Shen, Qi, Jing. What is Shen, Qi, and Jing? I've discussed it before, but a brief explanation is Shen means soul blockages or soul benefits. Positive Shen, Qi, Jing, right? Could be blockages, negative Shen, Qi, Jing, or positive Shen, Qi, Jing. So Shen is soul. Do we have positive or negative blockages at the level of soul? Qi is energy blockages or good movement of Qi, right? Why do people do Tai Chi and Qi Gong? because they're moving the chi or the life force energy. They're moving heaven and mother earth's energy through their body. So chi, you've heard that before. Shen is soul, chi is energy. Jing, that's the third word, jing. Jing means matter. Why do is the Mandarin, uh, excuse me, why is the Eastern uh, art of Tai Chi and Qigong so popular? They literally have entire universities dedicated to it. They have entire uh, hospitals where they don't do anything except Tai Chi and Qigong and people get healed. Why? Because they're moving the soul blockages, releasing energy blockages in the physical vessel, and they're adjusting the matter, the Jing, the energy assist in adjusting the matter. 
So Shen, Qi, and Jing. That's a simple explanation for you. Heaven has Shen, Qi, Jing that is higher than ours. Earth has Shen, Qi, Jing that is higher than ours. Positive energies that when we connect to those through love song, through love art, through love field, we are able to adjust our negative energies and release the negative energies, bring more gratitude, right? So this love art called Daganan, the greatest gratitude, carries within it heaven and Mother Earth's frequencies, positive energies of gratitude. Those that live forever, four billion years and longer, must have alignment to source. They carry within their frequencies the greatest love, light, the greatest forgiveness, compassion, the greatest enlightenment, the greatest of all of these qualities. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to trace this beautiful Daganan card. Now I'm going to trace it for you. For those that are interested, they can acquire this love art within this field. This is a create this this little piece of love art has extraordinary blessings placed within it literally there is a field of energy that emanates from it those whose spiritual third eye is open can clearly see the light emanating from this but if you cannot that's okay it's one of those things where you just work with it and you trust there are actually 10 of these great quality cards and you can acquire all of them just let me know and i'll be happy to assist you with them Today, I'm going to trace on your behalf to assist you with releasing blockages that might be inhibiting you from experiencing more gratitude in your life. But before I do that, we're going to do uh, the four power technique, which will include forgiveness. Because if we're unable to open our heart, how can we receive such a beautiful blessing, right? We must realize that uh, we have not opened our heart enough to be grateful enough so let us offer a connection to source and do a quick forgiveness practice <clears throat> welcome also to Vicki Foster welcome Vanessa so let us connect placing our hands either in a prayer position or dropping your left hand in front of your heart center uh, which is the called the soul light soul service prayer position and uh, let us close our eyes and I will walk you through a beautiful practice. Visualize your heart, your heart center, your heart chakra. See it as a golden ball of energy. Connect from your heart center to your beloved source creator. Connect to all the beings of light within the source creator's heart. Connect to your favorite beings of light within the Source Creator's heart. Connect to the soul of our, your beloved Mother Earth. Just feel your heart connecting to them. Reach out with your heart to all the beings of light. Reach out with your heart to your own soul. Thank you. Reach out with your heart to your Heaven's team an entire team that is supporting you in this journey. Offer them your gratitude. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. One by one, I am so very grateful for your unconditional, invisible service. Thank you, Mother Earth, for feeding me. Thank you, Mother Earth, for bringing me air without it, I literally would not be here. Thank you for your water, your ocean, and all that you provide for me and humanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all the beings of light in heaven, all of the angels. I'm so grateful for your service. All of the beings of light, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus and saints, all those that... I do not know are praying for me and praying for humanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to beloved Jesus and Mother Mary for your great and unconditional love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to Buddha and Kuan Yin 
Thank you to Medicine Buddha, Happy Buddha, for your happiness. Thank you. I'm so grateful. What if these uh, these saints are ones you're not familiar with? Offer your gratitude anyway. They do not segregate. Just because you do not think of them does not mean they do not think of you. Send your gratitude to all of them. Offer your gratitude to uh, Muhammad, to Krishna, to Ganesha, to Vishnu, to all of the beings of light. Offer your gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now open your heart even more to your beloved creator, the one source. You are a light being. You are within the largest light. Offer your gratitude. Thank you, my beloved creator. I love you so much. Gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now open your heart to ask forgiveness. Dear my beloved creator, dear all of these beings of light, known and unknown, dear all of the souls that have served me, including beloved Mother Earth, dear the soul of all those outside of Mother Earth, the stars that have served me at night, the sun and the moon that have brought me uh, blessings, daylight, yin and yang, balancing. I love you. I thank you all. I wish to sincerely apologize. My lack of gratitude, my lack of respect, my lack of recognition, of all that you do for me the times when I have been very down very distraught and somehow I come out of it I was not grateful because I was not conscious enough to realize you are the ones that lifted me out of that darkness thank you thank you thank you Thank you for saving my loved ones. All the times in my life that you might have saved my life, kept me from walking across the street, kept me from getting on that boat, car, or airplane. All the times that I am unaware of where you may have redirected me and something bad did not happen. Please forgive my lack of gratitude. Thank you for clearing blockages in my energy centers and in my heart. Thank you for bringing to me spiritual wisdom in a step-by-step -step manner that has brought me to the point I am today. Thank you for all the future spiritual wisdom you will bring to me to help me to navigate awakening of my soul on this journey please forgive my lack of spiritual intelligence my lack of heart opening please forgive me all the times I have not released anger and resentment towards others please bless me to be more grateful for all of the challenges for they have helped me to grow. Please bless me to be more grateful for all the little things, the sunlight on my face, the breath that I breathe, the food on my plate, <clears throat> the roof over my head, the laughing sounds of my own loved ones. Please bless me to be more grateful for all the things I have taken for granted. I'm so grateful to all of those that have served my soul journey. Sometimes the service was very painful, caused me to grow through pain. I offer my gratitude to all of you. Please forgive me all the lack of gratitude and bless me to open my heart. So keep your eyes closed. I want all of you to do your own personal gratitudes. I will now trace for you, chant for you, help you develop a gratitude field. Keep your eyes closed and continue to silently offer your gratitude. Dear the soul of this beloved doggone end, calligraphy,
countless shen-changing positive blessings within. As I trace you, can you please bless all of those watching this live stream as appropriate? Blessings begin. Da ga n Da ga n Da ga n Da ga Greatest gratitude 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 Da and open my heart create more gratitude please bless and open my heart create more gratitude please bless and open my heart Create more gratitude. Da 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 Greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So stay connected to this meditative state. Be grateful. Complete this gratitude request and connection to the source, to all of those that we had invited today. It's important to carry this message in your heart into each and every day. <clears throat> Wake up 
and offer your gratitude to all the beings of light, your source creator, your heavens team, guides, angels, and saints, and your own soul. When you go into the room that day after you get up and clean up, be grateful for your loved ones. Be grateful for whatever they bring to the table. They could be grumpy, they could be whatever. Be grateful they are with you because you don't know when they will return to the source. Be grateful as you go to work that you have a job, that you have the financial blessings to allow you to have the things that you have in your life. Be grateful for the unpleasant co-worker, for they teach you opportunities to be more loving, kind, and patient. To ask for forgiveness, because you might have been the unpleasant co-worker at some point in time. Be grateful to your vehicle as you drive back and forth from the job. Be grateful to all those that enter your life, regardless of what they bring to you, positive or negative. Because everything is a blessing to our soul journey if we are grateful for it this is the message I encourage you if you came in late to watch from the beginning for those that need a gratitude blessing there are two choices you can purchase this card you can contact me directly this literally is a blessing for life it's a one-time expense of fifty dollars and five dollars if you're in the States for the mailing of it that's outside of the States so I got to check the price of the mailing okay another possibility is connect with me and I can offer you a blessing that goes through the crown of your chakra it is an extraordinary blessing called a crown chakra blessing and I will use this card of the greatest gratitude while I deliver that blessing that's a little bit more uh, because of the nature of the blessing and it is immediate so if you feel you're in need of a blessing of that nature, let me know. I can serve you. Kristen, uh, Kristen Rojas Timeline has posted my contact information. And you can also connect with me through Facebook Messenger. I'm extremely grateful for your presence today. I'm extremely grateful for you sharing this with others because they may benefit from it. And I'm grateful for you coming consistently to my live streams. I will do a last-minute calling. I have an open spiritual channels course that starts this Sunday where this kind of wisdom and so much more is gathered to open your spiritual channels including third eye Kundalini message center uh, your intelligence center including far deeper knowledge than you ever understood about the seven soul houses or chakras and the energy and matter channel it's a 12-week course two hours per day the cost is only $30 a week, and there are about half of my students are paying in over a three-month increment, one month at a time, okay? So I can make it affordable. You just have to move yourself to wanting this for yourself. You can learn more. Kristen just posted the links. It starts Sunday. Everything is recorded in case your time zone is different than mine because it is live presentation with questions and answers and all that. So I'm grateful to all of you for your presence. I love you. Connect with Facebook Messenger if you have questions, and I will see you on Sunday when we chant Love, Peace, and Harmony to serve all those with the condition of cancer. Sunday, 6 p.m. Hawaii time, 8 p.m. Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern time, 9.30 in the morning in India. Uh, it's going to be quite early in Europe, 4 and 5 p.m. respectively. And then uh, uh, in, in Sydney and, and the places in uh, Australia, you can definitely connect with me just adjust your time zone 6 p.m. Hawaii time love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you I will see you soon bye bye everybody